we will discuss about the use of COVID-19 vaccines in children. At present, we have several vaccines that have been authorized for use. The Pfizer, Moderna, AstraZeneca, Gamaleya or Sputnik, J&J, and the Sinopharm vaccine. The characteristics of these vaccines are given in the slide. Some are viral vector vaccines, others are RNA vaccines. At the present time, the FDA has approved the Pfizer vaccine to be given to those over the age of 16 years, the Moderna, AstraZeneca, and the J&J vaccine to be given to those over the age of 18 years. Now, children are rel have get relatively mild disease when they're infected with the SARS-CoV-2. However, some can get serious disease, and that's important. There is a multi-system inflammatory component that we try to prevent. Also, they can get long COVID, which is a long-term disease when a person gets the infection. They can infect adults in their families or outside their home. Older children spread the virus more easily than younger children. And adults who are immune deficient or who have not been able to take the vaccine or very young children are prone to getting infected by these children. Now, we'll look at each of the vaccines and tell you the current status. We know that the Pfizer vaccine had been approved of over the age of 16 and the other vaccines over the age of 18. What is the latest development? There was a recent report of the Pfizer vaccine announcing positive top-line results for a, for a vaccine study in adolescents 12 to 15 years of age in the US. It was 100% efficacy. 18 cases of COVID in the placebo group, while none in the vaccinated group. And 2,260 adolescents were included. The neutralizing antibody titer was 1,239 one month after the second dose. And this was higher than the titer that was seen in those who were between the age of 16 and 25. And that's very important. It was well tolerated and the side effect profile was generally consistent with those seen at our old age group. So this is very, very reassuring, 100% efficacy. Another study is ongoing for those between the age of six months and 11 years. It's a global phase one, two, three study. They're looking at the safety, tolerability, and immunogenicity of this vaccine. Two dose schedule is used, 21 days apart. There are three age groups that they're looking at, as given in the slide. And the study has been initiated in the first two groups at present. So with these, this context, Canada approved the use of the Pfizer vaccine in children older than 12 years. The heading says that it was the first country, but it was actually Algeria, Algeria that was the first country, and this was the second country that approved it. And from today, it has been rolled out to children over the age of 12 years. The Biden administration has given an outline of the vaccine schedule that they would be following or hope to follow. From December, all those over 16 years were eligible. In the summer of 2021, those between 12 and 15 years, it is hoped that they'll be vaccinated because FDA approval is expected shortly for the Pfizer vaccine in those over the age of 12 years. And in early 2022, it is expected that those between six months and 11 years would get this vaccine. What about the Moderna vaccine? I told you about the Pfizer vaccine. Again, there are studies that are ongoing. In December 2020, a study was started in those between the age of 12 and 17 years, and the data is still to be released. There is a Kit Cove study in those between the age of six months and 11 years. It's an age de-escalation study. That is, the older children will be vaccinated first, 
And it's a dose escalation study. They're starting with the lower dose and increasing the dose. They're still recruiting for this study. And they're doing this in the US and in Canada. So this is a two important study results that we are awaiting. When it comes to the Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine, a study was commenced in children. However, when there was a change in guidance and those under the age of 30 were to be offered an alternate vaccine to the Oxford AstraZeneca vaccine, that trial was stopped or halted. And at present, no sites are currently recruiting for this study. So the Oxford AstraZeneca COVID-19 children study has been held back for now. What about the J&J vaccine? They've extended the vaccine studies to include children over the age of 12 years. And this is ongoing at present, and it will report shortly. So we have looked at the Pfizer, the Moderna, the AstraZeneca, and the J&J vaccine. I've also included the details about the other two vaccines, that is the Sputnik vaccine. They are planning to start this study in children in June 2021. So we do not have data, much data in children and teenagers. It's approved, authorized over the age of 18 years. And when it comes to Sinopharm vaccine, the report that came up from the Chinese authority was that children between the age of 3 and 17 were to be eligible for the Sinopharm vaccine. But again, we are awaiting data to be able to analyze the immune response and the safety profile of these vaccines. So would parents take this, give their children this vaccine? In the US, FDA is shortly to approve vaccines for those over the age of 12 years. Would they take it? 1,258 parents were asked about their thoughts on COVID-19 vaccine for their children. 53% said they plan to vaccinate eventually. 26% said they do not wish to do so right now. What was disturbing was that one third do not plan to vaccinate the children at all. The important aspect of vaccine hesitancy should be looked into and some, as, some discussion as to why they don't want to vaccinate when a safe vaccine has been approved needs to be discussed. So in this short video, I have just outlined the current status of vaccinating children with the COVID-19 vaccine. The Pfizer vaccine is approved over the age of 16 by the FDA, and it should shortly receive approval for, for children over the age of 12. It has already been a used in Canada, that's from today, and another country. And it would be rolled out in several countries once FDA approval is being given. The studies on Moderna, Sputnik, Moderna and JNG vaccine are ongoing, and studies on Gamalaya and Sinopharm vaccine are awaited. The AstraZeneca child study has been halted for now. Thank you very much.